Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today is Monday, April twenty fifth, two thousand twenty two. I am Sally Blue Sister, and this is my turn to talk. Welcome, Lou Rock. You are number one, and Frankie, you're number two. Welcome, Brina, and you are number three. get there. <laughs> oh boy. And Frankie, I'm pretty sure you meant to say hello, Brina. <laughs> oh. Hello, hello. Alright, let's get started. Alpha Mike, welcome, welcome. Okay, so brand new week, brand new show. So um, Alpha Mike and I promise this show is not going to be as as deep as the one we had on uh, Friday. That one, that one was really, 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 really deep. Um, uh, but people were able to get their points a- across. So, all right. So today I want to talk about um, women and children. And um, children is a topic that women just cannot get away from. Um, and one thing that I'd like to know is why does society appear to make children a downfall for women and their careers? And what I mean by that is a lot of times um, if you're a woman and uh, you have a child or you have a family, whatever, um, one of the things that you know people tend to want to bring up in the workplace well, are you going to be able to do this? Well, don't you have children? Well, your children are this and your children are that. And yeah, I'm going to get a little political here. Um, you know, I remember when someone on Fox News, I won't say who, you know, made the comment that Hillary Clinton shouldn't run for president because she was a grandmother. <laughs> and when I heard that, I thought that was just so ridiculous. So men are not gr- grandfathers. Men are not fathers. Men don't have children. So why does it seem like that women are the ones that bear the burden of having children in their careers? So, um, which leads me to ask if women are, you know, always the ones who are supposed to take care of the children, then does that mean that men should, um, pay more attention to them? Um, you know, if a, a woman decides to be a stay at home mom that don't criticize and say that you're at work all day, making all, all this money, whatever, you know, so, you know, so you can stay at home. Well, you know, being a mother, it is a, you know, it is work and it is a full, full full-time job, but women have always been the ones to just take care of everything. Um, Be they mothers or, you know, be they single, whatever women (laughs) pretty much tend to take care of everything. So that's my question. Uh, if anybody would like to, to join in, um, feel free. Uh, and the other thing I also want to say is more and more women are actually choosing to stay at home, but they still want a career. So, and COVID pretty much put, you know, a lot of people, um, uh, at, at home, over the last two years and people have rediscovered themselves. Um, and I think women being at home, you know, starting their own businesses and what have you have empowered them even more. So Baram, welcome. Welcome. Hi, how are you? 
I am fine. Have a good weekend. I'm sorry. I'm just reading what Alpha Mike says. Just don't have kids if you can't handle your career and them at the same time. Okay, so Barbara, I am mm-hmm. I am coming to you, but I just want to address uh, Alpha Mike for for a second because that seems a little bit sexist. Um, so does that mean that if if you're married, then that means men should not want uh, children or or should not mind if their wives don't want to have children because they want a career. So if the men want the children, then maybe they should have, you know, maybe they should be able to juggle the children and their career at the same time. Um, let's see. I'm so glad my son was 10 at the beginning of COVID. I couldn't have imagined having a toddler. Okay. So, but Bob, I'm, I'm, I, I am sorry. I <laughs> just Alpha Mike's comment just caught, um, caught my eye. So, Bob, Rob, welcome. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, you used the word burden there. I, I didn't like that word uh, in relation to kids. I don't know if you meant. No, no, you know, I know. Is... I, I, I meant the word burden and I'm glad you, you, you called me, me out on, on, on that. I was wondering if, if, if someone would, um, when I say burden, um, what I mean is that it seems like that women are the ones who who have this career and we cannot have children at the same time because society seems to make children our burden either the career is our burden or children are i don't think children are a burden at 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 at, at all but society Mm -hmm. tries to make it in into that so that is what i meant yeah but you're you're saying society but don't let society you're only People who let society dictate uh, roles and things like that, then more for them. I think the decision to, you know, be the stay-at-home parent, whether it's the the female or the male, uh, should be a decision based on multiple decisions, uh, like who earns the most. And, you know, uh, I think we did a show like this on your show maybe about a month ago where we talked a little bit about uh, parents and single parents and, and I kind of said that if, you know, if I, I believe the best upbringing for our children is to have at least one parent stay at home. And, and I leave it at that because I don't want to. I, I, I do think the best case is for the mum to stay at home because I think young kids need the mum uh, for the nourishing part, the, the, young, the younger years. And then the dad's role becomes more important later in life. Uh, but. I would obviously say that a dad staying at home would be better than no parents staying at home. Um, and I think that's something that you're right, society and, uh, you know, probably even uh, advertisement, like government and media, I know he hears me already, but, you know, the 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 I, I notice it with America more. And although I'm, I'm from the UK, I, I see that America kind of, push that women should go out and get a career and um it's more it's more so in the uk that because in the U- uh, sorry in america because in the uk our problem is that probably there, there's too many people having kids like the a lot of youth have kids at 16 17 18 um and it's probably got to the point where that's a problem um but in America, it seems as if the the pressure is on women with all feminist movement to you don't need uh, a man, you can go out and have both, you can do the career and have kids and or just do the career, don't have kids, and then you know that comes with its own problems as well. So, okay, so you're saying when you say it comes with its own problems, what 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 does that mean? I think when you look into the happiness of uh, middle-aged women um, f- from, th- say, their 40s, they're not very happy. I think this is the kind of stuff I looked into when I was doing philosophy, where women, uh, when when they do choose a career over children and they get to that age where they can't have children and, and it affects them, um, and then they wonder why, and it's probably because they've listened to this feminist rhetoric that uh, you you know the the greatest thing that you have as a woman has been basically taken away from you because you've listened to 
society or the government or the media and you've chosen not to do that um and uh yeah okay so let me push 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 back on that so okay so aren't you still listening to society and the media or whomever because again i go back to say the media the media wasn't around back you know during 400 a.d and what have you uh where women were still push to stay home, stay home, ha have children, have children. So aren't you still listening to other people when they say, oh, you should stay home and have kids. Oh, you should have, you know, you know, you should have a uh, baby, you know, whatever, whatever. I mean, there are people who just, you know, don't have children and, and, and they're fine with it. Um, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you guys are familiar with the word Dink, D as in David, I N K, um, it's dual income, no kids. And, um, you know, uh, in, in China, if a woman is a dink, they are just talked about and they are harassed. And how come you're not having children? You need to stay at home and have children when they're, when these women want to choose not to, and they want a, a career. So again, I say, why aren't men told to, you need to have children. You need to, you know, if you're, if you and your wife have kids, then you need to, to, to stay at home and you need to have children. Um, why, why aren't men told to do that? Why is it that a man can go through his entire life without getting married, without having kids, and it's not a big deal? But women are pretty much pressured into, and I'm, again, I'm saying society, into having children, having kids, you, you stay at home and you stay with them until they're 15, 16, you know, until they, you know, get into to middle school, whatever. Um, but why is it that women are the ones who are expected to take that route, but men are not? Welcome to Sean, Mama Bear, Tracy, Hick, uh, Alpha Mike. I just want to give you guys a formal wel welcome. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Bob. Go ahead. Can you can you give any examples or, or evidence of that? Like I don't know what you mean. Like where where women women are being pressured and men aren't. Well, when I say pressured, I mean well, I mean <laughs> example. I mean I mean from 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 what you said. I'm from when you say that um, a, a woman, you know, that if a woman has a child, I ideally, you know, the, the mom should stay home. And, you know, and, you know, take care of that child or nurture that child until they get to be a, a certain age. So to me, mm -hmm. that's, you know, sort of pressure. No, why women? Why can't the man stay at home and be the one that nurtures the uh, child? Why is it the women? But so I, I don't think I don't think anyone is saying that. I think it, for me, the, the reason I know about that stuff is because of my philosophy background, because uh, I listened to this guy for a couple of years and he was saying that in, in the early years of a, a, a baby's life, they need their mom more than ever. And the, the, the breastfeeding is an aspect of that, the, the, the early loving, the nourishment, and the, uh, it's just the way men and women are, they're different. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure you agree with that. And, mm -hmm. and, and children feed off of that. And, and I, I know there's science behind breast milk being the best, breast is best. And all that stuff. So I think it's it's not that there's pressure. Like if there is, then I I can only assume it's from friends and peers and family that are giving the woman or even the the the, the, the sorry the the woman or the man pressure. Because I've I mean I'm sure men feel it as well. If if they're not settling down with a girl or or uh, getting married or having kids, that their parents and grandparents are like, when are you going to give us a grandchild? When are you going to give us a child? So I, I don't see the pressure. I mean, I'm only saying what I feel is best, and that's just my opinion, that the, the, the mother is needed in, in the early years and then the dad takes over. Um, and that's not to say that the dad doesn't take an interest in the early years either, you know, but I, I think the, the, the way the world's set up now, and, and going back to your earlier point, before media and all that, like, this 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 wasn't a problem the, you know the whole world is pr probably more so reliant on religion and and you know i'm talking about the western world and christianity where women were like you know they were um you know the, the child bearers and they were respected for that it's a, it's the greatest thing ever and and all that stuff so but they were also expected to 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 be they were also expected 
to um, that you might say that they were respected and and and, and revered, but they were also mm-hmm. a- expected to be the ones that are yeah. staying at home and having children. Yeah, but I'm sure to to go against that as well. I'm sure men were expected to go out and earn and and uh, you know hunt and and do all the the, the manly stuff. It, it works both ways. That we have our roles and and the whole expectancy thing is is when it was in those days it was. A natural thing, and I'm sure they they appreciated each other, man and wife, and and they there was no argument. And then now, because we're in a a more yeah, I don't even know what kind of word it is, but the, the way the world is now, it's it's kind of like feminisms came along and and kind of caused that division between men and women, and, and kind of played these words like expected and pressure and all that to make men and women you know, think about this when there's nothing really to think about. If you, if you do want to have a kid, you go have one. If you don't, you don't. And, you know, I, I don't I don't get the whole pressure and, and expect and, you know. Okay. All right. Um, I'm, I'm going to come, come back to that. I just want to read some of the, the comments. Um, Alpha Mike says, I'm staying child free. Uh, Lou Rock says, well, back then life might have been easier. Man could sustain a whole family hundreds of years ago. Not anymore. I'm assuming, Lou Rock, you're talking about the, the dink comment. Um, Brina says, that's wrong. Some women don't want kids and some women can't have them. It's, it's nobody else's business. Um, only women can have kids, too. Um, <laughs> my, yes, boys have a penis and women have a, have a vagina. Okay, uh, let's see. Did I... Children are blessings, but women are the ones. Okay, I'm, I'm reading my own comment. <laughs> okay, well, children are blessing, women are the ones expected to stay home. Okay, so, you know, I have to push back, Bob, because welcome, uh, the only crazy lady. Okay, so I have to, to, to push back because. Feminism, um, to me, and when you look back in history, feminism has been around for a very long time. It's been around for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And, you know, you have the suffrage um, movement when women were fighting for the right to vote. Women have been fighting for the right to vote since the early 1800s. So apparently something was going on where they were saying, we want a voice. We want to be heard. So apparently something was going on to get this feminist movement going on. Apparently women looked around and saw that everything was not equal. Because back then, the way the laws were written and everything, even the constitution was written for men. You know, so there was pushback. But then when you say the feminist... I'm, I'm I'm sorry. Go ahead. Did you know that if it wasn't for the men voting in the uh, election to get women the vote, if you took the men's vote out, then women would have said no, we don't want the vote because it would have meant them they would have had to go on to war as well. So it was only because of the men voting for women to get the vote that they did get the vote. Yes, yes, because men had to men had to well at at the time you had to have men had to pass the law for women to vote. And yes, I and yes, I also know, know that, but you also have a lot of women now who are signing up to go in into the military because again, they want to fight. They do want to, you know, go in into the military. And in some countries, women just like men are expected and 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 they have to sign up to 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 go to war. You know, so I'm just saying, you know, you can say the feminist movement came along and, 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 and changed everything and made everything, you know, lopsided, whatever. But women always, you know, felt that there was, you know, things are not exactly fair, you know. And for women, yes, men went out to, to, to you know, get the food and, and, and they're going to work and stuff. But women also step, stepped up. And said, we want to work too. And again, I go back to World World War II. And not just here in America, but everywhere. It was like women stepped up, worked in those factories, whatever, you know, to make sure that that the the you know guns were made or tanks or whatever. And then men came back and women were told to leave, go back home, go back in and in, into the kitchen. And a lot of women didn't like like that. A lot of women were like, Well, hey, you know, I, 
I can get a paycheck. I can go go out to work. So. Yeah, um, I mean the the new wave feminism that's came about since like two thousand and fifteen, I would say, uh, is completely different. I, I don't think it's feminism. I think it's well, it's weaponized feminism. And and I can I, I used to remember the name of the woman that kind of started pushing it, but she was a a member of the CIA. And this are you whole talking new... about are you talking about Gloria Steinem? Yeah, is it? I think that's it. Yeah. So, so the newer the newer wave of feminism is is completely weaponized and and wrong in my opinion. For example, the the uh, the pay the pay gender pay gap. I think it's completely wrong. I think there's no there's no pay gap because what they do is they let's say me and my wife went for a job tomorrow as a, a as a, a welder or. A, uh, just a shop worker uh, at, at a supermarket, um, we would both get the same hourly rate. But what the the media and the, the, these feminist uh, movements do is they'll take what we earn that year. So I, the man, men are more likely to work overtime. Men are more likely not to take so much holidays because obviously you know women take uh, time off to have kids, um, all that kind of stuff. So they'll go by the yearly salary, the the take home, and they'll put out this rhetoric that the men get paid more than women for the same role, and it's really not the case. Because, I mean, if it was the case, I would be completely on your on, on that side because it's illegal. It's illegal to pay uh, someone more than another person based on sex. So this is the kind of tactics that they get up to that, that, to cause division between men and women. Um, and, so and again, then, I think. Oh. Okay, so then, Bob, then why is it that some some companies don't want you to discuss your salaries with each other? Because that'll be based on uh, performance. Uh, if if you're a better worker than than another one, then you might uh, barter and and you know go in and say, look, I, I deserve a pay rise and more power to you. Uh, for that so I think that would be why because if you disclose that you're on a pound more an hour a dollar more an hour then you'll have an influx of the rest of the staff going in and pestering their boss um, it's certainly not about gender okay um, I'm going to ask this uh, uh, let's see crazy lady said women were considered property which is true women were considered property and um hasn't been that long, probably only about a hundred or so years where if a woman got married, I'm not sure, you know, in fact, I know it was like this in the UK, but if a woman got married, um, and let's say they, they had the money, their, their home and everything was transferred into their husband's name. Women were not allowed to own property. So how is that fair? Where, yeah, where, where yeah, was it? But yet we're supposed to stay home and have children. Where was this? In the UK and in in the US, women were not allowed to to have property. They were not allowed to own property. And if and if and, and if they got married there and if they were inheriting anything, it went into their husband's name. Or that's, that's clear. Or or if if you know dad passed passed away and you had brothers the brothers got the 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 property the you know whatever the sister didn't get anything and if you only and if it was an only child and that only child was female it went to a a a male cousin or uncle or something so how is that fair that that sounds crazy to me. I'm not saying it's not true, but that I've, that's the first I've heard of that. That sounds as if it's something like from a from an, an Eastern country, like a, a Muslim uh, country, or even India, Pakistan. That sounds like their kind of way. But I'll, I'll obviously have to look into that because th- what springs to my mind is you often hear stories of of uh, men and women getting married, and then when the divorce happens, the, the woman takes half, and and uh, uh, and then the other was it last year where Adele, the the singer, mm-hmm. she obviously worth an absolute fortune, and her husband is not, and he got half, and there was a big you know carry on about it. But you know if you 
if you want, you know, equal equality and all that, which I'm not saying no, but you have to obviously have the the consequences. Likewise, like I was saying with the vote, if women didn't want the vote, uh, the vote, um, and and the reason for it is because that would mean they would have to 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 sign up for the draft. So you have to obviously depend, take. But, but you, that, but that was not, but that was not everywhere, and that and that definitely was not, you know, here in the um, here in the U, um, in in the U.S. If I'm correct, it was two, it was two senators who who made it possible for the women's right, you know, women to even have have the right to vote. But why should that even be be an issue? Shouldn't voting something like voting shouldn't have been open to everyone as opposed to just men? You know, yep. because back, I yep. mean, because because back then men used to say, oh, women, you don't know. You don't know what's going on. We know what's best for you. We know what is, you know, you know, what is what is best for you. Uh, no, you don't. You know, and that's just like and I'm not trying to be funny here any or funny here. But that's just like when you go when women go to, to the doctor and you're saying we you know, we have cramps and a male doctor would say it's all in in your head, there's nothing wrong with, with you. And we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, excuse me. You know, so how many women went and got female doctors just so they could understand, yes, this this hurts every month. There is pain, you know. <laughs> so I mean, you know, and, and again, this is where you know I bring it back full, full, full circle. It's like there are so many things that women were denied and still are denied in, in, in society, but we are expected, I am going to use that word, we are expected to have children. And Bob, I'm also going to push push back on you on the, um, on the equal pay thing. So I'm going to ask you, you have two people going up for the same job. One is a female, one is a male. They both went to the same college, <laughs> Both got the yeah. same, the same, the same de de degree, um, and uh, you know um, they have the same background in terms of they both. Let's say they both worked at the same place and they worked there at the same time. So basically, they are equal. You're going to tell me mm -hmm. that if that if if that if both of them were hired, let's say they're both mm -hmm. hired for the same job, you're going to tell me that the pay is going to be equal? Yep. Okay. All right. Do you know why? Do you know that that exact example that you've just said there is the the, the one that they, they use to debunk the gender pay gap because they say if you were allowed to pay women less than men, why wouldn't you hire women all the time? And they don't, you know? So you, these are the kind of things that you, you just have to, it blows your mind when you think about it. If if women get paid less, then why don't we just hire women? Employers would just hire women all the time. Because, <laughs> first of all, they know that that is. First of all, they know that they could uh, not get get away with it because you have a lot of men complaining. Why are you just hiring women? Um. But the fact still stands is women do get paid less than men. I I understand what um uh, what 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 you're saying, but most companies are not just going to hire just men or or just women, and you do make make a good point. But I can pretty much tell you one reason why they don't want you talking about your salary in in the workplace is so people don't compare and say, well, hey, I've been working here a lot longer than than he has. And he's making more, more, more than me or, you know, and I mean, I worked at a company where th there were some people who were at a lower pay grade and came in making more money than people at a higher uh, grade, whatever. That's why they don't want you um, t talking about your salary because then people are like, well, wait, hold on. Well, to, to kind of combat that argument, wouldn't you say that there's probably a lot of cases out there where women are paid more than men because maybe they're attractive and the the, the, the boss is maybe, uh, you know, she's maybe f using her looks to get what she wants and maybe the boss is, uh, you know, he, he likes the way she looks and gives her more money. Yep, yep. And and that is wrong wrong too. So you're going to have the, the yep. person who looks great 
um, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you know, the person who who is I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going back to to, to last week's ep, uh, ep episode where Brina, I, I still chuckle at what you said about Crucible Man, uh, about us totally CSI -ing his his in, his entire gate. But you have the Farrah Fawcett and then you have the, the, the other person who does who is this homey looking person. So you're going to pay the person who looks like Farrah Fawcett more as opposed to, to, to the other one. No, that isn't right either, which makes me again come back and say, everyone is not paid the same. Everyone is not going to get the same amount of money. I don't care what the law says. There's always a way to get around it. So, mm -hmm. um, oh, so Bob, I put you on the uh, spot enough, Ziller. <laughs> Thank you for waiting patiently, but bye. I have a couple more words for you too. What well, welcome Ziller, and welcome Poop. Uh, yeah. Um, I want to. I want to go to. I'm um, exactly. Um, I saw the topic way earlier, and I have something to tell you about. Um, um, I I couldn't avoid the topic when you said women cannot be avoided. Are you talk? Um, could you be more specific about that? Because I got a story about that but can you be more specific about it before i say something about this well okay so you, you you're 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 coming in uh late uh basically what i mean is that women are are i'm using the word expected i know bob doesn't like that word women are ex expected to to stay at home and and be the nurturers of, of children whatever as opposed to their career and sometimes they're put in a position where it's like either your family or your career. And then if they choose their career, you know, they're bad parents. If they, you know, choose to do both, you know, they're under the microscope as opposed to men. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The, not, this, well, this will go on the radar then. Well, I'll, I'll tell you during the, during the divorce, my, my mom was not in this category. I, my mom left me for, two weeks by myself with money with three dogs by myself and just literally went to a went to the hunting club by myself and i had to take care of three dogs and literally just pay the bills and sh um shit when i was about nine years old um and that's i want and i wanted to hear what how you i, I wanted your opinion about that solid blue can I ask how how old you were? Um, I was nine. Well, first of all, I thought you were going to say something like I was sixteen, seventeen. I no, mean, no. I, I mean, no. I mean, if your mom did did that, I mean, I think that was t t totally wrong. Just like I would think if if your father did it and left you at home by by yourself, any parent who leaves a, a child home by themselves, that is wrong. But I'm not talking about leaving a child home by themselves. I'm saying that if a, if someone chooses to have a career, but yes, you're still going to have a babysitter, your grandmother's going to stay with you, whatever. I'm not saying the mom just goes off and, you know, they go to work every day and they're leaving their their their, their child um, um, by, by themselves. Of course not. But I think oh. if your mom did, did that, I, I think that 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 was wrong. Oh, no, this was during Solid Blue. This was during the divorce. Um my dad was nowhere around. Um, my grandparents was in Japan and some other places. And l literally I wasn't, I wasn't enrolled in school at that time because of, you know, nobody wanted, I don't, I don't really remember all the freaking details, but I wasn't enrolled in school and I had, I had my dog, um, Gage Cooper and a, um, I had the other dog, that recent recently died um four years ago but i had to take three i had to take care of those dogs at nine years old and a week later she shows up and i'm like where the fuck are you where, where you been <laughs> and i'm over there watching cartoon network <laughs> No, that's what I said. I said that I didn't. I didn't think that 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 was right. I I said I I thought that 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 was wrong. But yeah, that's 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 what. I, and I'm glad you brought that. I I was. That's why I said I was intrigued by the. Um, that's why I like this topic. Oh, okay, all right. Um, Rena says, let's see, because women are typically the main caretaker. Society will say the man deserves a higher salary. 
when a kid gets sick, the mom is always called first. Therefore, her job will consider her un unreliable. And Brina, that is true. And I have a lot of stories about that. Um, uh, and Mama Bear says, I know that's crazy, isn't it? Um, so, I mean, you know, you know, you know, and it is because I have seen so many women get called away. Um, uh, I was working at a job one time and the one, one woman, her child stayed sick, her child stayed sick and they were always calling her. And one day she just went off, you know, saying, my husband is working such and such and such. Why don't you call him? Call him. Stop calling me. You know, and they're like, well, you're the mom. Like, and he's the father. This, my child has two parents. Call the father. And a lot of people got upset. How could you say that? That's your you know, child. You know, that is your daughter. How, 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 how could, could you say that? So, and I, you know, and I remember then I just kind of marveled that this woman is always getting called because her daughter's sick and she went off and she got upset. Granted, she shouldn't have done it in, in the workplace, but everyone started calling her, you know, like this in, insinuating that she was this bad parent, you know, and uh, again, I just question, you know, every time a child is sick at school or falls down, whatever, the mom is called. And then if the mom has to go home, the job says you're not a reliable person because you always have to go home to your children, you know, whatever. So would they say the same thing about the, the man, if the man was constantly call, called home? That's what I would like to know. Rena says, I can't stand when people judge, judge like that. Children have two parents in most cases. It doesn't always have to be the mother. Ab absolutely. Um, Poop says, I had a single mother that worked two jobs for a while, and it was the best experience ever. Good. Okay. And Lou Rock, usually the mom or primary caretaker is, is called first. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. And when you go and fill out the paperwork at, at school, um, the first thing that the school will ask, they won't say, who should be the emergency contact? They'll say, can I have the mom's name for the emergency con contact? You know, so it was like, well, where's, where's is the father's name? Shouldn't both of our names be on here? So Okay, Ziller. Uh, no, I tell it. That's that's totally true. It's um, it's a fact. Yeah, the mom first, please, please, to God, put the mom on on the list. <laughs> we we want her to come. Where? I, I no, I was just agreeing. No, sorry. <laughs> all right, and Lou Rock says all depends who's first on the list. Right, it does depend who's first on the list, but usually the school wants the mom's name first. Usually they, 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 they want the mom's name first. And what's interesting, what is, what is interesting is if you have a father, let's say the parents are divorced or, you know, um, maybe the mom passed away or for whatever reason, the father is the primary, um, uh, person in the child's life, whatever. And it's, and he's the one who is raising the, the, the child. Usually when a father goes someplace and something happens, whatever the, they, they'll say, well, where's where's the mother you know and the father has to say well i am the primary caretaker which will lead me into um child child su su support and who who gets custody i don't believe that a woman should automatically get custody you know um uh if the father is the better choice then the father should get custody um i also believe that children should be should be able to have a say on who they want to live with either the mother or or the father but usually not unless you're 14 15 16 do you know uh, you know does the court even pay attention to to children and i and i think that's wrong i think that children should have a say so in um you know who they choose to live with but i also do not think that women should automatically be the ones that get custody of a child and i also believe that yes women should pay child so support um if they do not have primary custody um they should pay child child support so 
Bah? Yeah, I totally agree with you. Uh, fair and equal. Uh, that's what it should be about. Um, so, yeah, I, I can't push back on anything you've said there. You've, you've been very fair and equal, as I say. <laughs> well, I try to be. I I try to be. And Lou, Lou Rock, thank you mm-hmm. very much. I, I like you too. Um, I mean, you know, you know, and again, I know I say some things that push people's buttons and, you know, may push people the wrong way. Um, but that's fine. I don't mind people pushing back on me. I really, really don't. Um, uh, I have thick skin, but my feelings get hurt, you know, j- just like everyone else's. Um, but I'm not going to put something out there if I'm not going to be willing to admit it my myself. And I think that when it comes to gender equality, it isn't there. I don't care how you may want to look at it and paint all these nice little pictures and say, you know, you know, the law says this, the law, says, the law says a lot of things that, you know, that it doesn't matter what, what, what the law says. Bob? Would you, would you say there's more pressure uh, on women or men in, in society and life? I would say women. Why? Because I think that women, um, not only are we, and I'm going to use this word again, not only are we a- expected to, you know, rear children and what, uh, what have you, we're also expected to take care of house and home. And we're also the ones that people come to. We're also the ones that we have to deal with a lot of people's emotional stuff. And when I say the emotional stuff, I, I mean, if, your child falls down and, and hurts their knee or they got called a name in school or even if the husband lost his job, you know, whatever. It's always the women who have to listen to all of this stuff and deal with a lot of emotional things. And and that's hard. And that builds up that that mm-hmm. builds up where, you know, women just sometimes just go freaking crazy. So. Um... Uh, what I would say to that is, is those things you're saying the word like have to or expected to. I, I don't think women have to. They can they can obviously say no and they can pull away from that uh, expectancy. Um, and also to back up why I think men are uh, have more pressure is we spoke to Green Sunrise the other day. Um, majoritively over the whole world, men uh, suicide rates are. The highest amongst men and i would just put that down to uh, obviously work pressure uh, we have to go out and work we have to take home a certain amount of money to look after our wife and kids um we have to go to war or used to have to go to war um we're obviously our health we we die a, a very young uh, younger than women um there's plenty of other things um, whereas, like I've said to you before on, on your previous show about a month ago, if my wife and I decided to have a, a, a child and, and I knew she was earning enough to cover the family, the, the household, I would love to be a stay-at-home dad. I would easily do that. And I don't think a lot of women... Uh, I mean, I mean, I think it's also you were saying there that women are expected to have kids. But then at the start of the show, I was saying how in America, women are expected to have a career and not have kids. And I think it's kind of. No, I, and, and so. I don't, and I don't, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's, that that's true. I think you have women in America who want to have careers, but women still are very much like, when are you going, going to have kids? When, when are you going to have kids? I mean, it's something that, if you're if you're going past 30 and you really get into that 35 mark, it's like, when are you going to have kids? When are you going to have kids? And they usually ask women that. They don't ask if, if you're married, they'll usually ask your wife as opposed, and I say usually, they will usually ask the, the, the wife as opposed to the husband. When are you going to have kids? Yeah. Well, anyway, I, I, I just, I just, I mean, it's just a, a quick question to ask. I just wondered if you thought that the women or or when men had more pressure on them. I, I feel strongly that it's men, but 
Um, okay, so so yeah, yeah, but you're saying it mainly in terms of of a who's 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 going to um in in terms of su- supporting the, the the household and 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 you know paying the mortgage and yeah you know which is the main the main stresses of life. I mean, you're talking about like having to deal with broken uh, skint knees and and dealing with school or you know, answering the phone, to me, these are trivial uh, things that we can, you know, I, I'd much rather be doing that than set my alarm for six so, o'clock in the morning and working okay, 12 so, hour shifts. <laughs> oh, okay. So let, let me ask this because uh, Rob says, in my opinion, um, men, men do, if man, if, if, if a man doesn't provide, he isn't considered a man. I think that's yeah. ridiculous. Um, and whoever thinks, thinks that I think that's ridiculous and old fashioned and, and one, one sided, but let, let me ask this boss. So, do you think that being a stay-at-home mom, if you were staying at home with the kids all, all, all day, do you think that it's easy? Do you think that there's no e- e- emotion there? No, no. That there's no, at all. That, that you know that there's that you can't get frazzled and you know um, you know <laughs> when you say dealing with 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 um, with um, skin knees and stuff, yeah. But there's also a lot more to it. I mean, I only had one. I only had mm-hmm. one, and sometimes you know you look around. And, you know, you wonder why you have, and, and this is true, you have moms who like sometimes hide in closet, hiding from their kids just so they can just have a, 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 a just breathing. So you can just say, can I just breathe for a moment where someone's not calling me and, and saying, ma, 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 you know, and then when your husband gets home, it's like, Where's dinner? Where's this? This is this, 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 this. You know, it's like it's constant, 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 constant. So, you know, I think that, you know, going to work and and earning a paycheck, is that stressful and hard? Absolutely. But you have a lot of women who stepped up and said, I don't, you know, yeah, I'll work and and try to do both. But can I have some help on you? helping me on the back end also yeah no no i, I totally agree it is, it's not an easy job to to be a stay-at-home parent um and and the thing i was probably forgetting about there is yeah if you're if you're going to be staying at home with three kids or more i i would probably choose to go to work <laughs> but, before, but, see, but, okay, but, but see but listen to what you're saying three kids are or more so again mm-hmm. that one that one could be a hand up, can be a hand, a, a, a handful. So I would have to take mm-hmm. exception to that because I only had one. And at times yeah. it was like, can I just, you know, can I just sit in my car and just like, just disappear just for like mm-hmm. a half hour, you know? So, yeah. Oh, there's there's going to be days where like that, and I mean, there's obviously going to be great days, and then mm-hmm. uh, after the years pass, like obviously when they're old enough that you, they can behave and things, and and I mean that is all down to the parent as well, and I think more so, you know, that's why we need parents to stay at home to to nurture their kids and teach them and make them well behaved and all that, and and you know all that stuff. So. I'm not saying it's an easy task, certainly not. And obviously, you'd have to, you know, look after the home and cook the meals and things. Like, I know, I know, this is like this comes across as like misogynistic kind of stuff. But I honestly think when you, when you made a comment earlier about how women were like property, the man man went out to work, women stayed at home and looked after the children and cooked the meals. Life was so much easier those days. And and again, it's not because the the woman. I I just think if if society allowed us to have better wages that we we didn't have to go out and have two parents going out to work so that our kid is then being raised by the state and you had a parent home taking a, uh, taking care of the kid taking care of the the phone calls anything that needs to be done uh, cleaning the house the man comes home it, it's stress it's a lot less stress free than the other way around um and that that's really it it's not that you know I know this can come across as misogynistic, but it's only because people jump down usually the person's throat that's saying it before they're allowed to say, look, I'm not saying women should stay at home and be chained to the sink. It's That's an old 
old, old, horrible attitude to have. Um, but, you know, I've even mentioned before on the show that uh, the reason why the women were kind of pushed into the narrative of you guys can work also was because the government realized, well, we're only taxing one person out of every couple. Why don't we get women to come into the workforce and, and then we can tax them also? And they made up this whole thing of, well, the, the men are in at war, so we need women to take their place. That, that's all that was. It, you know, if you ask women back then, before the, World War II, they're more than happy to stay at home and uh, look after the kids while the man went out and did all the backbreaking stuff. But I'm sorry, I have to, I have to push, push back on you. I mean, because, you know, women were considered property. Women were considered the property of a man. They were considered property of, of the household. And you may have had some women who, who, who enjoyed staying home and taking care of children, but you also had some women who, who did not. You had women who wanted to get out and work and, 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 and vote and, you know, see what is on the, um, on, on the other side. And, Mm -hmm. and, and back then, you know, it may have seemed like times were, were easier, whatever, but, you know, back then, you know, especially like if, you know, back, um, when, you know, women help build the house, the log cabins and, and, and all this other stuff, but it was hard. It was hard for women. And back then you had women having, you know, you know, eight, nine, 10, 11 kids, whatever. That's hard on a woman's body. Number number one, you know, but, Mm -hmm. but to automatically assume that a lot of women were happy to, to, to stay home. Yes, there probably were. I'm pretty sure there were a lot of women that were happy to stay home. But the, on the other hand, there were women who, who were like, I want to do something more. I want a job. Yeah. And, so. and I mean, that that's for me, it's all about choice. And and not one one moment in my life have I ever said that the w- women should never have had the, the same uh, same opportunity as men, because that's just totally wrong. But ultimately, I, I do think if you was to go back in time and ask these women, would you rather stay at home and look after the kids in home? Uh, or would you want to go out there into the, the big wide world and get your hands dirty and cold and uh, <laughs> like stress of work and, and all that? And then also, would you like to vote, which means you would have to then go to war and all that stuff? And, and okay, I, I but, okay, a, a okay, huge... but, okay, but let me go back to this whole voting thing, because you keep saying, would you like to vote and, and, and go to war? So are you saying that women should not have the right to vote, that women should not want to vote at, at, at all? No, no, not at all. It's, I just said my first sentence was that I've never, ever thought for one second that women should never. I think it's an atrocity. It's up there with, you know, like slavery and, and all the bad things that the, the you know, when, when you look back at, in time, men were misogynistic they, they were very you know and and a, a big part of it i mean we were we were kind of going back and forth on twitter today and it was kind of the same kind of thing where we're we're kind of paying for the way that our ancestors were the people on the earth today don't hold the same views and and uh, i think we all agree or most of us should agree that some of the things that was that went on even just 40 50 years ago were wrong and and you know, I I definitely stand on that that what I I don't agree with it, but I also think times have changed. And if you like, I say if you go back to those times, women were happier, definitely, <laughs> oh, one hundred percent happier. Um, and and I'm not I'm not saying all women. That's that's the thing because I do know what you're saying that there are going to be women that are sitting there like you see in movies, going, I wish there was more to life than this, and and all that. You know, you see it in movies. I obviously there's going to be people who want more and, and it's a good job. There are people like those in, in the world, but like I say, ultimately, I think, I think a huge, huge majority of women in those days would have preferred to stay at home, look after kids. And yeah, I, I think it's, yeah, that's it. And this, everyone who is listening is why Bahram and I do friendly differences. This is why, <laughs> this is exactly why. <laughs> Chill, Will. Chill. Welcome. What do you have to say today? I don't even like the energy today. (laughs) Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Sparks, sparkles, sprinkles, and Care Bear hearts to everybody. Come on now. 
Y'all know women barefoot in the kitchen is where they belong. Now y'all know that, don't y'all? Having babies at their babies. That's what they made from now. Y'all y'all disagree with me. Raise your hand. Chill. Thank you for oh, joining the panel man. today. Thank you, bro. But... Thank you, Bob. <laughs> if that's where y'all belong, and that's what you're good. That's the most thing y'all good for us with boil down. And this man rule the world and it's just gonna leave it at that, right? You know, women is this how we this is are, how it's supposed to be. Women are born with smaller feet so they can get closer to the kitchen <laughs> sink. Oh gosh. This is just so misogynistic right now. I think every woman in here hates me right now. But no, really <laughs> I'm in, joking. in all aspects. In all aspects. I don't care. I mean, I, I wouldn't probably be a stay at home dad, but I don't really care about women women working, you know, getting their own, not sitting up under, you know, that man and taking all the abuse and all the, you know, women able to do that now, which is awesome. You know, I would never want to see my grandma or my mama go through anything that, you know, that they didn't have to go through it. And so this is our new territory, especially in this country. Of women gaining rights and we just just trying to figure stuff out um and which this kind of makes me mad um when the transgender and the, um well i'm not gonna say it makes me mad because everybody deserves to have some plight in the fight but you know you got other minorities that, that, that haven't gotten that just do and you got other m- m- groups that are m- manufactured minorities getting you know more Pub and I don't know, like justice I could, I, for the lack of better terminology, than than initially the minorities that are already already there. But I'm I don't know. But for the most part, women well, they're strong. They didn't they get into it, man. The women look at college. I, I, I don't know the numbers, but I, I went to college twenty years ago. It was one way way more women than men in college, right? And it's got to be even greater now. I, I would imagine. Um, probably like, I don't know, I, I want to be like hmm, seven to three, maybe out of three men, seven women. So a lot of women is just, just, this road is changing, right? The road is changing. And, um, you know, I go to DC, a lot of single women, they can make, making money. You know what I'm saying? The only thing is, the only thing about that is they think they, they do. So now they are boss B I T C H. Their boss, and and then like, if a dude is on your level, or even not necessarily on your level, quote unquote on your level, if that's what your gauge is, I don't know if I want to be with another man, you know. So I think the thing is with women nowadays, they got to learn how to be able to be self sufficient, but still kind of be um, nurturing, a little bit vulnerable, so they can may find a the man they respect because nobody wants a docile man, but. But women doing their thing, and they ain't nothing wrong with that. It's, that's that's good. That's a good thing. Okay, so um, I'm sorry, just responding to uh, to to Brina. Um, you know, uh, I mean, with children, you, 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 and I know you mean something with children as well. I mean, the the, the um. I, I just didn't get that part though, so I didn't want to comment. I didn't because I, I didn't. I kind of came in late, so I didn't necessarily get the the gist of what you were asking about the children. So, but I mean, I, that's just a part of it. I mean, that's a part of you. You, that's you want equality. You want these things. The 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 the, the perils that come with being a parent and have being a mom, baby daddy leaving. You got to do deal with all of that. That's what makes women strong. That's why you admire them, right? And I mean, and this is one thing, you know, and that's and that's what I think. I think that women are very, very strong, and we've always had had to uh, be, um, you know. And what what you miss is I have to repeat this again. Basically, what it, what I was saying was that society has put it where women are expected to have children. They're expected to be the ones that stay at home. And 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 you know when? take care when take care of the children. You're asking me what we were what I was saying, so I'm I'm, I'm telling you. So don't don't interrupt until I'm finished. Okay, <laughs> so I'm telling you. You know, but on the other hand, 
women can do both. You know, women should not be the ones that are expected to be the ones that are staying at home. We can do 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 both. Men should also be able to to stay at home. And Tuttles, I 100, 100% uh, agree. If men are stay at home dads, more power to you because staying at home and taking care of a household, it is hard work. So if a man wants to stay at home and be a, a, a stay at home dad, more power to you. But this is the thing about that part. Um, yes, women can do all of that. Uh, that's great. And and men could do the stay at home thing, but I just naturally I think some people are better at it. We're talking averages. Not every single person. We're not about to start picking at straws. Women are definitely more emotional and nurturing than most men. Um, and if they're brought, if you know, there are some men that would probably be better off suited, you know, because the patience, maybe more patience, being a parent. Like in my case with my my daughter, I believe I'd have been a great person to be the residential parent but the courts didn't agree with me even after thousands of thousand dollars of proof but the, hey the, what 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 do i know but for the most part um there's something to say for a, a, a mom like listen man don't nobody want to be at home with their damn like this this quit the bullshit don't nobody want to be at home with their damn daddy all day like you don't want to go to your daddy house the weekend you ready to come home you understand me i'm ready to come home I don't want to stay. Mama, come get me. I don't want to stay over this MF house. He ain't got no dishes. He got three dishes. And he wanted me to wash them as soon as they hit the sink. He, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got no furniture. Or, or his evil wife. His evil wife is on my nerve. Like, you know, it's just, it's it's a thing about your mom, man. Your mom is your mom. Y'all can't take that away. Y'all can try to even, that's a special thing. I don't think it's a lesser or more than that. That's a special thing, man. You know, I, and I, I just think that that I wouldn't take that for granted, granted either. I'm not saying, you know, that it should be taken away. I'm saying that women have the ability to do both. Women have the ability, should they choose, you know, to to stay at home and take care. I mean, to either stay at home and be a stay at home mom or they can, you know, have a career while having a child, just like a man has a career while also There's having a child. There's consequences to that, right? There's consequences to that, especially if you're a single mom. There's well, consequences you know, and, to that. Okay, you're right. You're right. So when you have all these baby daddies around here, you know, don't don't sit up here and, and tell a woman you should not have gotten, you know, you know, you know, um, pregnant, uh, pregnant mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Yeah, you should not have done this. You should not have done this. Well, excuse me. She was not in that bed by by herself. So while men are so busy, you know, some, some men, not all, while some men are so busy knocking women up, you know, and then they're, and then, and then they find, oh shit, you know, you know, they're having a baby and then they want, mm -hmm. want, want to leave. And then all of a sudden this woman becomes a single parent, you know, um, <laughs> but that's not on him though. That's not on him only though. I, I mean, that's just as much as if it, they made two, right? You say it's two. You're right. You're and right. So, you're right. You're right. So, so, so my point is, is both, both parents have the responsibility to raise this child well i guess i was leading to accountability like it's not the it's 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 your fault if you let that man walk away to some degree uh, what right yeah what? It's your okay fault. so okay so if you okay so if you get pregnant and the man and i know guys we're getting into entirely different different yeah different I mean, it's, gonna different, it's gonna happen it's gonna happen you know but you know so so okay so so uh, a man decides to walk away, you know, you cannot keep someone around if they don't want to be. Yeah, you can take them to court and you can do all this other stuff. But if somebody does not want to be in your life and let's not even let's say it's not even a child. Let's just say it was just he just don't want to be with you. He don't want to be in your life. You are not going to be able to keep him or her around if that person does not want to be there. Um, I I respectfully disagree to some 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 amount like I, obviously you can't if you don't want to be with them you don't want to be with them but if you know there's things you can do you put in place because it's been done i see it done, i've seen it done all the time and like you say you can go to court you can go to court especially they live there in the city unless they just disappearing yeah i mean you can make them pay child support that's the one i mean that's that's kind of not really a thing but it's still something 
and then you can order them. You can go take them to court to make them. You can do take all care that, of the child. that kill, but if the person does not want to, okay, so you can give me all the money in, in the world, but if I'm still frazzled or I just need help, can you just help me just for, can you just be here for two hours and let me do this while, while you're doing this, I can do, do this or whatever. Do you so, ain't got to go through that. Well, you know what, if you go take his ass to court and, and get a court order, because <clears throat> if you don't abide by it, all right, you want to be do your job? You gonna go to jail anyway? So okay, okay, but a, but a court order is only telling someone that they have to pay money to take care of the child. No, 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 no. You just made that up. That's, you just made that up completely. I, I, this is, I'm, I'm telling you, I, this is not even the debate. You can take a man to court for custody. For custody. That's of, the thing. Custody of of the child, so you can have custody. Yes. So okay. he can have custody, part custody, have okay, so, visitation. Okay, can, so yes, what, that, okay, that, so that. what? Okay, so okay, so you've taken taken me to court, and you're telling me, Solid, you have to show up every Saturday, you know, from this time to this time. And yes, ma'am. Let's say I don't show up, but then, well, then you're saying that I that I go to uh to jail. Okay, let's say I I do show up. And I'm just there for two hours. I'm not being involved. I am just there looking at I'm looking at at my watch. Up oh, is 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 three o'clock. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Does, does you really nine times out of ten when people with their children are they going to be that cold hearted? That, that's not. I mean, it could happen. Yes, we're now you're picking at straws. No, no, like chill. nine I, times I, out of ten. I, I, I am saying that usually when you make somebody do something they don't want want, want to do, mm -hmm. a lot of times they are not going to be one hundred percent involved in that particular thing. I agree thing. with that. I agree with that. But in this scenario, out of sight, out of mind for most men. Most men see that children; they're not going to just treat them like well, then, well, like then, a stranger well, on the then street. they shouldn't have walked away in the first place, right? Nah, that ain't that. Si no, don't okay. do that. Cause right. no, solid. Well, no, nah, no, cause you why? know, if I got to deal with her ass, you are the I got to deal with her ass. No, 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 no. You are I got to deal with her. Ass. You are the one that that brought it up, saying baby's mama, and, and right, then and right. then and then the man leaves. You're the one you, that brought it up. You so. say he shouldn't have left, but there's several reasons why men leave. True. Like, I, do you understand? Like, how many women? I, 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 the amount of women that are ridiculous, ridiculously hard to deal with, and do not to say he want to, but just for his own sanity, he walks away. And he know ain't there maybe the right thing, but literally it's for his own sanity. Because this woman is as every angle, he don't want to be there with her, but she she's gonna hold it against him, and she just talks about him like I say. I, it's, I you can go probably half the women in this world do that in America, at one point till they grow up, especially if they want to be in a relationship. So that's hard. That's hard. It's that's not simple. Is what I'm saying. He walks away for a reason, and on top of that. If you used to not having kids, you gotta get now. You making them have used to having kids, and then make them have a relationship. Maybe it might start off kind of a little apprehensive at first, but when you start having your kid, they make you smile. It's hard to just come every single weekend and be like, "Ah, I'm bug. Fuck your kids!" Like you can't do that with your own. I'm not, you I'm, I'm, your I'm, kids, I'm not saying. You know I'm, I'm saying? not saying that. That I'm not saying that. I'm. I'm just saying that for for a single woman. Mm -hmm. to be a single parent they're a single parent for a reason and it's not all her fault yeah i know yeah, i'm never i would i'm not i'm never going to say that i just like you said I, you are absolutely right to the tango but i'm saying that a lot of times women choose their route and they don't have to choose that route you you, you say oh well if he don't want to be involved in life i'm not gonna make him that you got me effed up you got me messed up you're not about to ruin my kids. You gonna at least at least they're gonna be my fault if they're gonna be they're gonna see for themselves when I take you as the court and make you spend this time. You understand me? That's what you're gonna have to so, do. So okay, so if you have to go to courts to make someone spend time with that child, did that person want to spend time with that child? In uh, in that's in the okay. Place? You go to you, you take your well, ass. I mean, to school. no, no. I, I'm, take, I'm I, I got I'm you. Just asking. I'm just asking. No, you're right. But I'm saying you. My point is that you do a whole lot of other stuff that's hard in life. And difficult in life, that's for your child. Who else you gonna do it for? You gonna go take your ass to school and get a degree? You gonna go get a PhD? You a single woman? You gonna go to work for ten hours and be a manager, supervisor, and deal with motherfuckers you don't even know? Can't stand. 
You got to become a better manager, a better person to deal with these MFs at work. But you can't do that shit for your child. I'm just saying. I'm, I mean, and, I, and I'm, I, I, I'm, I could be wrong. I'm, I could be wrong. I'm, and I'm just saying that if you have to, if a woman has to do all that to have that person, have that father, have that man in that child's life mm-hmm. to be the father figure, there's already a problem right there. If I have to hunt Absolutely. someone down and go to court, apparently there is a problem. If I can't just say, hey, chill, you know, you know, can you come over on such and such a day and just spend time and while and you're saying no, 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 no. And the only way I can get you to come over and spend, you know, two hours on a Saturday, you know, let me get a little bit and see and see you're 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 going there. Come That's on, why mom. a baby mama uh, um uh, in Sorry, the first place. Give me a little taste. See? You know? <laughs> little taste. Give me a little taste of it. Then oh, I be there the whole Lord day. I watch mm-hmm. I, I watch my own baby for a whole damn mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Let me read some of these uh some of these these messages. Uh, if you ever okay, Brina says if you ever want to force a parent to spend time with the child, it's better off they're not around at all. And I agree with that. Crucible was so much cheap birth control available, not to mention condoms in every 7-Eleven. Why are there still so many unwanted pregnancies? Uh, Lou Rock, what parent wouldn't want to be around their own seats? Rob, my dad was miserable the entire weekend visit. 18th birthday came up and he called to say he wasn't obligated anymore. I was like, fuck you, homie. Wow. That's messed up. That's messed up, Rob. I'm sorry that happened. And enter, enter, enter says birth control is toxic. Rob, so sorry to hear that, bro. That must be a horrific feeling. Okay, so, okay, so your dad was miserable the entire week weekend, you know. So again, you know, if, if you have to, um, uh, okay, and boss says that you are weaponizing kids, um, you know. Again, you know, if you have to make somebody do do, do something, then you know, are they going to be that person who's miserable the entire weekend? So, huh, bah. <laughs> uh, well, I, I don't really know where to come in on that one. Um, I mean, no, I mean, come come in wherever you want. Come in where wherever you want. Well, you, you I mean you are talking about you know courts and and custody of kids um i, I don't I, I think obviously the, the courts do favor women they say it's equal i know here in the uk that they make out that it's equal rights for equal parents but it's not um i i know instances where uh, dads have gone to court and uh tried to get custody of the kids and then uh when they, when they turn up at the door to to get the kids they are just basically told you're not getting them and it costs the the, the man uh, thousands of pounds i think the initial court uh procedures to get it started is like two and a half three thousand pounds and all the the mother just gets a slap in the wrist and says don't do it again but again the, the father has to keep going back to court which costs like a thousand pound each time just for the judge to say to the mum uh, you have to give him on his set days. There's no, there's no punishment, and I'm, I mean, I, I'd like to see harsher pun- punishments for uh, the, the the one with the custody, um, because the, there's no there's no punishment there when, when it is one parent obviously has sole custody, and then obviously the the other one has visit visitation rights or you know partial. They, they get them on a on a weekend. There's no repercussions for when they're denied, so uh, I I think it's disgusting. Um, and uh, yeah, that's my two cents. Okay, so when you say penalty, um, so you're so when you say penalty, you're saying I mean because I totally agree. I do I totally agree that if if um if a man you know is the better parent, you know during a breakup whatever, um, they should definitely be able to raise that child but when you say penalty for the mom i'm i was a little confused on that so when you say penalty you mean so they don't get custody and the father does no i mean for when for um because the instance that i know of is is where uh, you know the, the mom gets the full custody and then the dad gets maybe a, every second weekend or a wednesday and a, and a and a friday or whatever 
And I've heard stories of where fathers go to collect the kid on their given day set by the court, and the mother can just say, no, you're not, you're oh, not getting it. Oh, okay, right, uh, okay. And, yeah, when they and, forgot to send okay. them outside. Okay, they're supposed to send yeah. the kid outside on a curb. The dad forgot to yeah. collect the kid, and then, you know, just, yeah. Yeah. So so in instances like that, I would say, like, a, 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 a punishment for that parent that's not Oh, absolutely, allowing, you know, yes, yes. You know, Yes. And Brina says mothers and fathers are equally important in a child's life. Yes, they are. Okay, so I'm going to go to Crucible. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Yeah, I the point I wanted to make is maybe a little bit um, of moot, or maybe it's so obvious nobody else has made it. But, you know, when you're talking about having a child, you're is you, I, I made a comment about birth control, and maybe that, again, is, is too obvious, and it's being more... Um, finger wagging than anything, but there's no reason to have pregnancies with people that you're not sure is going to be a good parent or not. I'm, I'm talking about women now who sleep with men who, let's face it, there's not, if a man, if a woman gets pregnant and a man decides he wants to disappear, that's not the first time he's displayed irresponsible behavior. That's just my opinion. There have to have been signs early on that you might be dealing with a skeevy, sketchy character here. So in that period where you're still deciding whether this person can be trusted in the event that you were to get pregnant, what's wrong with condoms? I know nobody likes them. I didn't like them when I was young. I understand all that, but birth control, from what I understand, is available for $10 a month, depending on your income level. So maybe I'm just focused too much on the root cause of this, and everybody's talking about what happens after the child comes along. Preventative measures can go a long way toward avoiding all of this crap. It seems like such an elemental thing that in 2022, we're still debating, we're not really debating it, but we're still talking about birth control. I mean, if this were 50 years ago and all we had available to us were condoms and everybody knows what, how cumbersome and, and difficult those can be, I could understand maybe rolling the dice and maybe we won't get pregnant. I did it when I was, when I was in my teenage and early 20s and I got lucky every time. But if something would have happened, I would have married, um, or at least I would have been, I shouldn't say married, I would have been a responsible parent, paid child support and been the child's life. But in that intervening period where you're making up your mind, why take chances? Because if you've got a guy who if you, it's tough enough just to date somebody, but if now you've got a child on the way and you haven't talked about it yet, you haven't made any arrangements of what happens if I get pregnant. Again, I go back to people tip their hand in relationships when you're not really looking for it. People display behaviors that you should pay attention to. And when you're considering something like a child or you're having sex with somebody who you're not married to or not even engaged to, there's a very, very high chance without birth control you're going to get pregnant. And if you're not having sex with somebody who you think will be responsible and be there for you, I hate to say you get what you deserve, but largely most of these things are very preventable. Well, we've really gone to a whole different topic from where we were. <laughs> now we're talking about women and birth control. And it sounds like crucible, you're blaming the woman if she ends up getting pregnant. Um, but again, you know, I come back to, you know, women being or expected being the main ones to um, choosing between a career and, and, but, that, but that's exactly my point. And, so I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. But what I was going to say was the reason, the very point you just made and what everybody else has been making, the burden always falls to the woman. The man has almost, I'm not saying no responsibility, but he is not going to be the one to raise that child if it has to be a single parent household. It's always the woman. So right, why but, but the a woman, woman right, right, but, but a woman should not, but a right, but a woman should not, but again, because if men could get pregnant, we would be having a different um, uh, you know, the whole, the whole thing would just be different, but again, women. So, you know, and now you're making me, you know, tip into this abortion thing now because women, so now you have this, this woman who, who is pregnant. So you have this woman who has this baby for whatever reason, you know, um, you know, women, if, if a woman gets, gets raped, if it's incest, whatever, it's the woman, the, it's the woman's fault. Why didn't you do whatever? But if you, if That's they want to go, and, control, but, it, it, 
well, hold on, hold on. But if you're okay, but if you're if if you never, you know, you live your life a certain way and you got raped or or it was incest or whatever. Okay, now you all are taking me down a whole road that I don't want to go 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 to. So I'm not getting into the whole birth 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 control thing. So I'm just going to stop that for mm-hmm. another day, and I'm just going and I'm and I'm just going back 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 off of that because that's going into a whole thing that I'm going that I want to talk about abortion. Mm-hmm. And right now, I'm not going there. I am not going there today. Can I can I add a quick comment? See this uh, like how. We we started off tonight's show like saying about like the expectations and the pressure and all that. This is exactly what I mean. Like from who and and why would people care? Like see that this whole narrative of of the pressure and the the, the expectations, right? Don't let it bother you. Don't like. Okay, see now. Just, okay, see, see, see. By now, 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 now you're now, now you're you're making me make me go there because Crucible brought up the whole thing no. with, with, with the whole birth um, a birth control thing, and now because society does matter when it comes to women and children, society does th- th- does matter. It does matter. But, can I, but but see what I'm saying. My main message is is you do you. Don't let. People like like if I want to have a kid or ten kids or stay at home dad or go to work dad, I don't give a shit what media or 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 society or my parents or my grandparents. As long as my wife and I are making that decision, and I think a lot of not not to you know get down about any of the other subjects that we've covered on here, but a lot of them is is like it's like weak minded people. I think a lot of people are are probably going to listen to the show and be like oh okay but if you're a strong-minded person you do what you want to do and you don't care what uh, the, the the feminist movement saying uh, women should have a career or whether your mom and dad's like get give me a grand uh, give me a grandson give me a granddaughter you, you don't you do you uh, that's why i, I mean, and, and, always and 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 I'm not saying I'm not saying that they shouldn't. If you want to go and have twenty kids, bless your heart, go and have twenty kids. Go mm-hmm. and 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 do that. I'm saying that when you when you start blaming a woman for getting pregnant, you know, and you're saying, oh, birth control, birth a uh, uh, birth a uh, uh, birth control. There are many, you know, <laughs> there are many reasons. You know, uh, again, I'm just saying that it comes to the women then if a woman you know you know if they can't get an abortion and then they have this child and then they want to you know and 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 they have this child and they need help and then if they want to get on some type of 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 a program to help them because they were told that they couldn't get an abortion because they were raped or incest or or whatever all of a sudden you have one group of people saying oh see now all you all want to do is just is just use use the system you know again it comes down to women having to deal with everything women are the ones who who the main burden and yes i am going to use that word burden is on them if they get pregnant they are the ones that have to be the sole support what the hell am i going to do now they may have 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 slept with this man but damn that man also should have known either to wear a a a, a condom or maybe don't be so hot to try to get into my pants you know so that goes both both ways when people say birth birth control birth um, um, um birth control birth control why don't you just take a step back and keep it in your pants and not try to come after the woman yeah i think two things i want to say to this and i'll, I'll be done uh, actions have consequences and also and that goes for both man and woman uh, and the other thing is is do you think why back then when when uh, the pressure was on people to get married before they had kids it's not such a bad thing now, is it? Like, I, I, I'm not saying that that's what we should go back to, but I don't think it was a bad thing. We certainly probably had better lives and and none of that, you know, w- what's going on in today's world where a lot of single parents and, and fighting and alimony and all that stuff. So, yeah. No, you know, and, and I am, and I'm I'm going to say something that I know is going to probably rub some, some people the wrong way, but Bob, when you said that you should get married before having kids... I grew up in a household where you you better not have a kid unless you were married. And, you know, and I'm teaching my son, you know, I'm sorry, but marriage first, children second. 
you know, and I tell my son, if you're not going to be able to, 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 and if you don't want to make, cause I, one thing that I definitely do, do, do not um, think should happen. I do not think that you should marry someone just because they have kids, because that to me is just disaster written all, all over it, you know, but yes, I, I agree. Um, you know, marriage first, children second, you know, uh, but everyone doesn't do that. You know, it, it just isn't like that now. But at the same time, it's like, um, you know, Crucible says it's very, you know, that it's not real, real, realistic. Oh, okay. You know, you know, but at, at the same time, don't, you know, it's unrealistic to tell a man to, to keep it in his pants. Come on. Yes. Yes, it is. See, and that, and that for, for, for you. Okay. So, so then, so, so then that, so that makes, makes me think of all these things. So you're going to keep, so if a woman says, no, you're just going to push her. Well, come on, come on, come on, um, 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 you know, you know, you know, you know, come on, baby. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Hold on. That's something else. Wait, wait, come wait, on. wait, no, no, wait, wait. So it's unrealistic to tell a man to keep it in his pants, but it's not unrealistic to tell a woman you need to go and get birth to get birth control. Yeah. Well, you're oh, arguing. Okay. All right. Well, you're saying that right. you're, you're letting the woman off the hook, but you're blaming the man for wanting to have sex in the first place. Unless he rapes her, she can still say no. I am not letting the, 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 I'm not letting the woman off the hook. I'm saying that you need to share the responsibility. Okay. Can we stop the whistling or whatever that is behind, you know? Um, you know, I mean, I'm just saying share in the responsibility. Don't assume that, you know, don't, don't sit up here and say a woman should be on, 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 on birth, on birth control. Okay. You want to have sex, then have that condom in your pocket. Be ready to pull it out. Don't well, don't be in my ear then. So don't tell her don't be in my ear talking about I won't feel you. Okay, well then you know what then? Tell her to <laughs> shut then tell her to shut up and keep on going. Yeah, on so note, tell her to I'm shut up a, and I'm, slide on note, in there. I'm going to Saba because she's been waiting patiently. Saba, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, honestly, society today normalizes shit that should be shamed sex is basically being shoved down our children's throats as soon as you put them in front of that tv or ipad or phone or whatever like there's so much going on there and we have been groomed we've been groomed sorry to say but you guys cannot <laughs> that's something y'all can't avoid we've been groomed we normalize hypersexuality, and at a young age, we're we're not emphasizing on abstinence and why abstinence is the thing that should be emphasized on. We're allowing you know all this sexualized shit in our in our children's schools, amongst other things, and um, it's like, when are we all going to wake up? And start taking the baby steps needed towards a better society. We're all in on this. And yes, like it's it's not completely all our faults. But as long as we can acknowledge it and talk about it, we can start making moves towards a better society. We are being pushed through a bottleneck. Uh, they're coming at us from all angles and they're them, they, meaning our enemies, whoever is the evil, you know, whoever's running the show, you know what I mean. And I'll leave it at that for now. Thank you. All right, Bob, because I know you want to say something before. Uh, no, it's just, I think the emphasis, uh, I don't know if you want to go back over that stuff. I, I know it's, it sounds as if it's a triggering subject, but no, look, I'm, just I'm just, this is this is my hey, this is this is just okay. how, how I well, feel, it, you know. It, it was just because I think the only reason I'm not saying it, I'm not defending it. I'm just saying the only reason I think the emphasis is on the women when a man and a woman have sex and the woman gets knocked up and all that is because ultimately she has to know that this could be the time that she then has to bear a child for nine months and all that that brings. And the man maybe just assumes, like, I, I know we can't get into every single uh, 
scenario but you know I think even in my mind the morning after pill would be an option for her if, if she knows she's not on birth control and she's just let a guy you know have sex with her and he's not wearing a condom then and to me it, that's why I think the onus is more on the women but I'm not saying that I think it is it should be equal because it takes two the man should obviously do the checking up in the morning. By the way, I wasn't wearing last night. You know, are you sure you're okay? And you but know, what can you, we do? That's, should you also ask before you you start? You know that. Oh yeah, maybe, but how, how romantic is that? Okay, so then okay, so then you fix it by having a condom and putting it on. Of course. But that, you that, all that, are still worried me, about. Oh, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. No, okay. No. But see I that. Mean, see I'm that. You, you've made There's a couple a lot of, of comments guys out there that are like that. I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. but there's a couple of comments we made here tonight. It's like, whoa, because like if we'd said that about women, you'd be all hating on that. So I know you do get those types of people as well. I'm not saying there's not, but we have to think like there's prevention instead of, you know, or oh, we're obviously going to do a show on abortion for friendly differences. But to me, the whole thing about this is prevention more than uh, abo- you know going to the extremes. And there are so many types of contraception that if you're going to go out and, you know, knowingly open up your legs to a man who's not wearing protection, then you've got to face the consequences. That, and that's for both, again. Okay, but, but, okay, you but, know. but again, okay, but, but again, if you're knowingly going to have sex with, with someone without wearing a, a condom, shouldn't you check yourself a second time? Shouldn't you, you know, also yeah. just not assume it? They, and then you're, you're saying the, the morning after saying, are you okay? Isn't that a little late? Shouldn't you have asked her that? No. Be, be, you know, beforehand. Yeah, well, that as well. But I also, meant, what about the morning after pill? If the woman wakes up in the morning, and goes, "Oh, I've done a," you know, we, we did something stupid. Why don't you go get the morning after pill? Because the state of Texas will probably say, "Oh, nope, can't have a morning after. You can't have a morning after pill." <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm. I. To me, it takes two to tangle. If you want a woman yeah. to have to to you know, if a woman should take birth, 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 birth control, okay, I I get that. But at the same time, a man should have those condoms in his pocket, whatever, in his glove box, wherever night night t- table, wherever you are, ready to go. Don't automatically assume that the woman is going to be on some type of birth con- control because I can tell you one thing: most men a- expect women to take care of it. As opposed to them, you know what? If you're not gonna have sex tonight, you're just not gonna have sex. Amen. And men are more. I'm. I'm pretty sure more women can walk away than men. It depends on the dynamics. True. True. There's people who feel under pressure. The fact that people are roaming the world today, like you know, getting taken by peer pressure and societal norms and exceptions tells me there is something to this bigger picture. There is something really, really wrong. We need to stop blaming each other and and pointing fingers. We all need to stop, turn our heads towards what we need to focus on. And I know everybody knows what that is. No, you're, you're, you are making a good point. You are. You are. And the reason why, so, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. The reason why, um, you know, society makes it appear as though children are a downfall uh, for women in careers is because it is. It has become that. I mean, you can't, I mean, it's hard enough to have a career when you have kids with a family, but a, as a single parent, yeah, that's that's pretty hard. And they do put the quote unquote burden on women you know but i do know i do know single fathers i know single fathers like they do it all by themselves because for some reason the 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 uh, mother just can't be there um but uh it's become a downfall to have kids in society because society has made it that way because they've they've promoted it and now it's happening it's been happening now we're all suffering the consequences and we're not even most of us are not even acknowledging those consequences. They're just normalizing it. Do you know something I've thought about recently is, is you know, these states in America that are banning abortion uh, and then, you know, we're 
also talking like AOC and all those types talking about um, it's selfish to have kids. You think there might be a day where, you know, these abortion bans are in place and then they maybe cap children to like one, one children per household, one child per household, and then they can then criminalize people for having, uh, you know, it's like it's almost as if they see into the future that they're getting these things in place so that they can then fine or, you know, whatever, criminalize people for having more than one kid and just say, well, it was already passed in 2022, 2021, so you were going to have to criminalize you. Well, you know, that's something that I have thought have, have, have thought of. That's, that's why all these bans and stuff, you know, that, you know, um, uh, certain groups are doing, Closer and closer, while they, you know, yelling, you know, free free speech and and all this this, this other stuff. Slowly but surely, all these bands that are coming uh, uh, across by, I absolutely agree, is setting is setting it up because when that happened, I thought that very well this could we can turn into a China before you know when they had their one band one child that it is going going to be be like that. It is going to be one one child, and if you have a second one, you're going to have to go leave the the country or 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 go someplace because we are rolling into that society and you let one person do it and you let one one law like that pass another one's gonna come another one's gonna come and soon pretty soon they're gonna come after you it has happened before it's going to happen again and this is setting it up and it's and, do- it, and it's coming more and more and more and more so they y'all they have freedom of speech all you want to, but yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. I- I'm sorry, Saba, go ahead. Did did they do that anywhere else but China? The the one kid thing? I haven't heard I don't think I've heard it be done anywhere China else. China is China did. is China is the only one that I heard of, but China doesn't have that one 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 kid thing uh now. Now uh, t- yeah, they're having two, three, four, four kids. But yeah. I think they did that for a reason. Uh to build an army. But that's a whole another conversation. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It is. So on that note, you guys, I am going to start wrapping it up. So I'm going to start with Crucible. Any last words? Yeah, I think the whole, what I was trying to say earlier is really, you know, Ba kind of touched on it. And I guess we've had versions of it since then is, you know, like anything in life. And I'm not trying to, again, talk like I'm a know-it-all because I'm, I'm not. But it's communication. You know, certainly something as consequential as the possibility of a pregnancy, you know, it shouldn't be the woman's fault. The man should not assume that she's on birth control or she's, you know, in that period of the month where she's in a safe zone. I don't understand all the um, science behind it, but women know their bodies and they, you know, and and for a man not to say, how are we going to, you know, should I get a condom? Are you going to, I mean, there has to be some communication. That's just a simple thing. And you could avoid a lot of this as far as what happens after the fact, if it can't be avoided. I mean, I guess that's why the courts are there, because if we relied on people to do the right thing in life, we wouldn't need any court system. So I just think it's basic communication and respect for the other person. You know, what happens in the event that the outcome is X? Um, Doesn't mean people can't change their minds and say, well, I, you know, I didn't really, you know, and, and weasel out of it anyway. But to get things on the table, at least you know what you're dealing with. If the guy suddenly goes, well, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, that's a red flag. So even the conversation itself, even if it doesn't, relationship doesn't go anywhere, you can learn a little, a lot about your partner by talking about consequences and what their reaction to those possible consequences is. But anyway, didn't mean to get too deep, but it was an interesting topic today. (laughs) Thank you, Crucible. Sava, any last words? I think that we're a society of children, meaning we don't take responsibility. And then we sit around, you know, pointing fingers and blaming each other and fighting about it. Those of us who have wisdom and, you know, knowledge and self-control I think it's our it's it's time we step up and you know acknowledge that it takes a village it really does it takes a village to raise a person and we all need to start we need to finish raising each other or something like 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 let's start normalizing so, like decency for a change like let's go back to that you know um, 
and and let's, let's start holding each other uh, responsible for their actions. Okay, and you make a good point there. Chill, Will. I don't like how you skipped me a couple of times, Silent. But I, oh, I sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. I am sorry. I said I was sorry, so I'm sorry. Damn it. But no, but in in reference to, I know I know, I know things are crazy, but I think things always been crazy. We always have a tendency to say I think our time is crazier than back then. Like I don't don't get me started on my back then the crazy don't, shit. Yeah, please don't get yeah, me started on yeah, back then either. Yeah, so yeah, don't. like uh, back then, like as far especially <laughs> I mean, don't you know if if we want this to be not necessarily so sexualized, what's the result of that? You can get watch what you ask for it because you be around here and 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 in carpets and garm all them day and if ninety degree weather if you're a woman you could be that it could be that right so it's it's a it's trying to find a um a, a kind of a balance and it's our responsibility to kind of teach each other whether it's from up above if it's our fault or not at least awareness right and so that's what we kind of got to come back because there's always some fucked up shit going on from the bottom to the top macro and micro that we need to be aware of and that's just a precursor of just being the person who cares and um but then there lies you have to be a person who cares (laughs) and most, most people don't give a damn because they just trying to get through their own stuff. And so that's the whole psychology of a people that you have to change. And you try your best, but people are different. And what one norms may, there's always going to be norms because we're a mass of people. It's always going to be a culture. There's always going to be something wrong with that culture. So you just got to do your best in that lies. But as far as with women, it's, it, being like you know professional moms, I mean professionals and moms at the same time, ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, but I just know, like, I, I had this conversation, a real conversation with um, a person I was dating. And she said, um, she said she, she wanted to do all these things, but she wanted to have a baby as well. I said, so how is your plan for raising your baby? You're about to have a baby. This ain't no, this ain't no, no game. I said, well, I'm going to just work, do it. Uh, this is that. Like, what, what, what you going to, hold on, hold on. So you expect me to be at home with the baby? I, I've been working. I, you I mean, I could do that to some degree. I don't necessarily mind. But why would you not want to be? Like, it does strike me weird. Like, you know, the first couple of years, you I need a mama. Like, a mama, the baby won't want his mama. At least for the first year. I'm not saying you got to do anything. But it is, a, it's, 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 listen, we can send the women out to build, to do all the rough jobs, the undersea, the, the constructions, the, you know, pitching 800, 800 pound boulders. We can do the, but I mean, it's certain things that our right, men might be better at that job. You women might be smarter. She, make this dumb brute go do this job. You know what I'm saying? That's what a man is for. I mean, I mean, women women are tactful enough to learn that part too. So it could be to their advantage at times, I believe. But in general, is what I'm trying to say is that basically, it's some things we're better at just naturally, right? And so I don't want to take that away. That's 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 not a. I don't think that's a vice at all. I think that's. I can't have babies. I can't have a connection with a child that a woman has. Like I, is people take nature, like the natural aspects of life, out of things, and that pisses me off. But but, you know, to say the least, like I can't. Do, like it's it's a natural order of things that just are there, and there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's beautiful. I can't do that. I can't. But I get what you're saying. You still want to get up and be able to choose what you want to do, but. Man, I'm supposed to be with this woman. She just want to work. She was talking about you, my mom. My mom, she doesn't work, so she was just gonna be. I'm like, what? So you gonna let your mama ch- raise raise our kid? You think that's about to happen? I don't even like that woman. And she got. You just told me about your mama having this this issue and this issue. You about to instill that narc kid? So it, it's it's a it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't thing. And this just ain't easy as people may seem. And so I think anybody who's willing to embark on that, as especially as a single mom, should think about those things. Uh, and as far as just sticking your dick to somebody, crucible, man, bro, you got a 20-year-old. Ain't nobody think about, oh, man, if you're 21-year-old and you got to see the baddest chick of your life and she going to let you hit it, guess what you're going to do? You're going to hit it. Man or woman, they're going to hit it. And if they get pregnant, you might have been with them for a year and they got pregnant and they just become baby daddy from hell when they don't get what they want. You know what I'm saying? Things things happen. It's easy to have a 
child out of wedlock and have a crazy baby mama, dad, baby daddy. That's the easiest thing to do. You know, it's just ain't simple to say, hey, wear a condom. It's just, uh, it just takes a birth control, go get the day after pill, and, and, and um, or just abortion. That, that's just it's not that simple, man. People fall in love and fall out of love in, 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 in three months, six months, two days. They think this is the person, and they they make a decision that they think that's okay. This is a good decision. I I said I laid down with this man, had a baby with him. He a year later he a crackhead. Oh shit! I probably better leave. What, what you gonna do? Maybe not even three months later he just disappears. I, I better leave. So things happen. So we can't blame. I mean, things sometimes it ain't none, nothing to blame. It's just you got to deal with these situations how they come along. Ain't nobody's fault. But the responsibility, I do get what you're saying, is is on both parents, typically. And sometimes it's not. But shit, in the law of the courts, women definitely get the advantage as well. So it it, it, it kind of scales itself out in some ways, even though we don't like one aspect. Is, is, uh, if you think about it, it scales itself out. But I'll shut up now. <laughs> Bob? Uh, uh, so... <clears throat> Uh, the last couple of probably month month and a half here in the UK whenever you're watching a YouTube video there, there'll be an ad playing throughout and these ads have started coming up where it's a man and a woman and they're usually dressed in like work work attire on a building site with a hard hat on a high vis and there there's usually this is the kind of stuff that I'm trying to to open your eyes up to um so one of the ones that stuck in my mind was uh, the woman says hey did you know that women only got pockets sewn into their trousers in the like 19, let's say it was 60s. I don't know when it was. And the reason was, is because men didn't want women having pockets because they didn't want them having power. And it's like, and then the advert ends and it's like, comment, like little adverts like that. You can, you guarantee that there is some woman watching that advert and she'll turn to her husband and say, you piece of shit. And she'll, you know, an, an argument will ensue. But those comments stick in people's minds. And it might be that one night. It might be another, another night. But that's exactly what what tonight's show for me is all about. You're, you, the, the topic is women with the peer pressure and all that. Don't let any of these peer pressure get to you. If you want to have kids, if you don't want to have kids, you do you. Um, and, and to me, that that's... You know, pr- pretty much a lot of the, the subjects why I am I struggle is because I don't let society, the TV or anything bother me. I don't let it dictate whether I make a decision or not. So, and, and uh, I, I think it's a celebration that we, we should all celebrate that the greatest gift that women possess is to have kids. And even that's been taken away from them now with, with the, we're being told that men can now have kids. So I, I think it should be celebrated. So... That's just my two cents. Thanks again for having me on, and I appreciate everyone on the panel. Thanks, guys. You know, Bob, today, between me and you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been going back and forth on Twitter, y'all. So, you know, if we're not going back on Twitter. We're going back and forth on Telegram. We're going back and forth. I mean, you know, and again, this is why we have friendly differences because by you and I, we, we just, we, we just go at it. Um, so a couple of announcements. Um, I have literally been sitting here changing it. First, it was going to be today and then it was going to be Wednesday. So officially on Friday, I am still going to be doing a Friday show on Friday. Uh, but I am going to have a topic and it's going to be a hot one it is going to be a very controversial one. And if you all are not willing to listen, if you're not willing to accept, you know, my opinion, uh, and again, it's my opinion because I am more than willing to accept the pushback that I know that I am going to get on this show. I will be doing a show on, um, on uh, Podbean on Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific time, chill, so you know Pacific time. But I also am going to be, for the very first time, and I hope it works, I'm trying to get this this, this together, I will be streaming live on TikTok. Um, and um, I'm going to stream on a couple of other um, uh, platforms, but TikTok is the one that I've been having an issue with, so hopefully I will be able to do it and it, and it works. But it will be a hot topic i'm not going to post it until friday and again it's going to be one that mm, y'all gonna be yep y'all gonna be pushing back on me 
on this one. Um, uh, so look, look out for that. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Bahram and I are going to be uh, doing a chat with um, with uh, Jester from from Doom, Doomsday. So um, uh, we will be be doing that on friendly differences, and I have some uh, questions for Doomsday for, just from his show last night. I have some questions uh, for him that I want to ask him. Uh, which I told him that I wanted to ask him. And then um, Bara and I am going to be doing Friendly Differences on Saturday where we will be tackling re religion. And we have a guest um, that you guys will probably want to tune in for. Um, she's not on Parlor or anything, but um, yeah. So, um, Ba, you want to make any comments or anything? And chill. Wait, hold on. Chill. I I know you 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 wanted to say something. So chill. Oh no no! I'm gonna be streaming live too. I'm streaming live with you. Shit from <laughs> from, from my cousin basement on Willard <laughs> Avenue. Oh, seven chill, Pacific chill. time. Seven oh, p.m. Pacific chill, time. Friday. Chill chill chill. No, I, but no, I'm, I'm a, I could be at work at that time, so I probably ain't gonna be. Make, I'm able to be able to make it so. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, Bob, so you want to, 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 to pop in and say something? It was just uh, anyone in the chat or anyone that's going to be listening to this show. Um, we, we are looking for a, a, a someone for Saturday's show. I have asked my friend, by the way. He's a bit yawn. He, he doesn't know if he, he's, if he wants to come on. Um, so we're to me, I think we need someone who knows about religion uh, deeply and Christianity in particular um, to help us on well and, Saturday and, and Saturday show with the person that we have um, she's going to be deep okay she is is going 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 to be deep so you know so if if you want to come on you know just re remember an audience that you have to have follow you <laughs> so um, um, you know and and again, I say, whether you're on my show or Friendly Differences, um, people are going to have their uh, uh, opinions. People are not going to uh, 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 agree with everyone. Um, people are not necessarily going to take your side. People are not going to take 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 my side. People push back on me all the time. I don't care. I don't mind that. I actually welcome it because if we're all the same, it would be pretty boring. So, you know, so just know that if you're on the show, if you're on my show on Friendly Differences, you know, just, you know, just be ready for some pushback. Um, we don't look to have an I gotcha moment. We don't look to humiliate anyone, whatever. Um, that's not what we're trying to do. We're just trying to have an open and honest talk. So. Bob, you want to add anything else? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. All right. So on that note, y'all, um, <laughs> I hope to see you tomorrow. And my show, my topic on Wednesday, my tomorrow's topic may change. Right now, I already have it up. It, it'll probably be what it is. Um, but yeah. Uh, Lou Rock, thank you for the gift. Frankie, thank you for the gift. And everyone, thank you for liking the show. Saba says she doesn't like TikTok. <laughs> May I say something? Yeah, go ahead. Brina, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, go ahead, uh, Saba. Keep your pants on. <laughs> no, don't do that. I, I, that's what I have to do yes, to get on podcast. Do that. And do shows. I do take that. my pants Avoid off. Avoid unwanted right now. pregnancy. Avoid. Uh, Abortion, avoid birth control, avoid the bullshit, avoid baby daddy, baby mama. Well, Sava, avoid I jail. Well, Sava, <laughs> my husband and I, we had to do the the in the in vitro thing. And one thing that I will say, and because I am going to do a show on in on infertility, I am doing a show on that. I wish that through all the what I call the turkey based method, whatever. I do wish that I had twins as opposed to just one, because I think my son sometimes needs a. a 
a sibling, but also I am 100% for marriage before a baby. So, and Brina, thank you again for another one. Thank you. Thank you. So on that note, you guys speak your truth. Everybody was speaking their truth today. Thank you. Thank you. And go where the wind takes you. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye. I don't know about y'all, but I am tired. (laughs) I am tired. (laughs) You know what? There you go, Bob. Well, look. Well, look. Well, look. You all are spitting now. You all are spitting. If anybody needs to have a problem having some kids, just find me. I probably, you know, I got some super fun. Chill, chill, chill. I'll probably can help you out. Chill, chill. So I'm, I'm just letting them know. I'm just trying to be a, a, a pillar in my society. Oh, so Lord. if you okay. need a baby, chill, chill with your friends. Don't okay. have sex with okay. friends. Sala, I think you Shoot need to tell mom up. to stop spitting over the mic. And that was chill. not me. Baby, mom. That was not me. No, no Ma is is is, is spitting over the mic. Ma, <laughs> what the? That's, it. That's uh, it. children. We're all children. We're all children. Yes, get your baba. The wind's blowing okay. me out. The, whole the wind's blowing is... me out the room. Oh, oh, bye, bye. You guys, what the? <laughs> oh, Lord. See, 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 see. And this is, this is why men cannot take responsibility. Because <laughs> they're daddy immature. For hire. They're immature. Yes, they're and, immature. and they like memes. Yes. Memes yes. are. Uh, yes, uh, they are sick. Yes, Juju, they are sick. They are sick. Very and on that sick. note, I am going to say, <laughs> chill. I am going to say on that note, chill. Go home. Put the willy on and chill. Grow up. <laughs> Take the willy Everyone, out. thank you so much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Go home. Bye. Take your beds. <laughs>